So next step is finishing mounting the engine. There are two uh, locations where you can mount it on the frame. One location on top, we'll worry about that one later. Now, I don't really have any hardware. I don't have any bolts that will work for this engine. I do have these, which kind of work, but they're a little bit small, a little bit sloppy. They, they're long enough for the top, but not long enough for the bottom. So. They don't really work, um, they're the only ones that I have. So uh, we're gonna have to make something else work. Now I could just simply drill these out to 3 8 I have a ton of these 3 8 bolts. Um, it's not that much bigger, 3 8 is not that much bigger than what it is already so we're not taking off too much material. It's not gonna damage the engine, it's, there's plenty of material on there and it's really the only option I have. So we're just gonna drill it out. And so therefore we can we can use the hardware I already have.
Alright, moment of truth. Here's where we find out, is this shock strong enough to hold up the weight of this entire thing plus the weight of myself? We can always move it, adjust it. It is adjustable. It's an air shock, so we can always add more air to it, but uh, let's hope it's close to what it should be. Uh, not even close. Ah, oh, man. Let me see what happens if I, like, when I sit on it. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't, I don't think this is strong enough, especially in this orientation. I want, I want to try something. I want to try moving, moving it more up and down. It kind of works better. It's a little bit stronger, but definitely not strong enough to work. So, all right. So I spent the rest of the day yesterday trying to figure out, trying to solve the issue of the rear shock. I did. I didn't film it, but I did move the sh the spring tensioner all the way down, and I charged because this is an air shock. I charged this up to 100 psi. It was dead for some reason, so. Charge it up to 100 PSI, and this, it's a little bit stiffer, but still, it almost bottoms out when I sit on it. So, that's not going to work. I started looking at other other shocks that are the same length with a thicker spring. I couldn't find any. I'm not saying that they're not out there, but I, I couldn't find any. Started looking at uh, name brand stuff, and they're just still, again, same spring, le same spring thickness. So they really wouldn't work, plus they were th almost three times more expensive. So to solve the issue, I just bought a second one of these. Bought a second one, we're going to have two of them side by side. That will solve the issue. It's the cheapest way to solve the issue. Um, and it's, it's going to work. It's, we know it's going to work, and we can fine-tune both of them to work together. So while we're waiting for the new shock to get here, let's, uh, let's work on something else. Now, I kind of noticed a problem with where the frame is and where this engine is placed in the frame. If you look closely, you can see that the Kickstarter is hitting the frame right here. So, uh, I did think about, you know, cutting the frame and trying to bend it out and make it, you know, miss the Kickstarter, but then, then your foot's not really going to have that much of a hold on it, so it's, that's really not the best option. So I think the easiest way and the only way to fix this is to use that internal spline cutter project that I've been working on for the last couple months. I think we can finally use that machine to solve this issue.
Alright, I'd say this thing works beautifully. Let's hope. Let's hope it's strong enough because you definitely have to kick this really hard to get this thing to turn over once it's got its spark plug in there. But um I'm probably gonna have to do something similar to the other side to the gear shifter, but I don't think we have to make a new spline thing like I had to do with this one because this is aluminum, I had to do it to this one. The gear shifter is steel, so I can just simply cut it and weld and weld it in a you know different location. So now we are still waiting on the new shock to get here. Uh, that hasn't gotten here yet, so I think that about wraps it up for this video. Next video is once that when that new shock gets here, installing that, then uh, doing whatever else we get to do in the next video to get this thing running. But uh, that'll have to be for next video. I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya the next video.